Hi everyone, this is Lazina from Tech Ventures, and today I'm at Embedded World. I'm at the Future Electronics booth. Let's go see what we've got going on. Uh, so I see over there, this kind of looks like the rose from Beauty and the Beast, except there's no rose. <laughs> Why is there no rose here? What's going on? Uh, it's now blinking in green, which means now it is connected to my iPhone. Starting from iPhone 11 with iOS 15, we have the nearby interaction, which means I can bring the space around me inside my smartphone. So what we are showing so here... So nearby interaction, you're not talking about NX, NFC, right? This no. Way different than no, NFC. no, no. In fact, the technology that is lying behind is the ultra-wideband. Now we have an accessory simulating a kind of access, it's like a cheese box that will mention to me my distance toward the cheese box by the lid blinking brighter or dimming depending on my distance out of the box and also it's showing from which angle i am approaching the box once i am in the right distance on your no it is showing on the oh. on the box itself so here once i'm in the right distance oh no 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 it is open. Yeah. I can eat my cheese. Okay. So, what is happening behind? Here we have an accessory from a model vendor partner, which is Murata, implementing the new chipset from NXP, which is the SR150, loaded by the secure raging stack from the FIRA. And the FIRA is the interoperable organization between the different provider of the ultra wideband technology for mobile phones. Oh, I thought it was pronounced FIRA, F-I-R-A. F-I-R-A, exactly. So, but it's FIRA, so I was not corrected. It depends on, uh, let's say I am based in France, so maybe the I is pronounced as an E, but still it is interoperable between the different provider of the smartphone and the different provider of the ultra-wideband chipset. So whatever the ultra-wideband chipset, just let me put in my code again. So whatever was the accessory loaded with the fire stack, then we can make it interoperable with the smartphone. So it is not about building cheese boxes with ultra wide band it's about in fact having handless secure access control system i will have my contactless exactly so what i have in my bucket my phone i'm just going to the door the door will have the security distance to be open without even touching it so i am identified in a secure way i have my distance toward the borders to the exactly so afterwards this is the concept and we can think about a lot of use cases for smart home it's now opening the door but i can also adjust the sound level if i am far or away from my home cinema devices i can make a beam forming of the sound so i have a high quality if i'm doing a party at home so all these special awareness services are only available in a precise way with ultra wideband Okay. Where are, is there an anchor or a tag in this point, in this use case? Sorry, say it again. Is there an anchor or a tag? So I call it an accessory. Yes. So this is the accessory, as I said, is built by Murata based on the chipset from NXP. Yeah. And if I can, in this case, use the anchor vocabulary, it is inside the phone. It's inside the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah because your iPhone has UWB. Exactly. Oh, okay. And here in the iPhone from Apple, we have the U1 chipset. While in the accessory, we have the NXP chipset inside a Murata model. Thank you so much, Ravi. Welcome. If you have any questions about anything you saw today, please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Lazina.